Okay, so we have ugly number two. Write a program to find the nth ugly number. Ugly numbers are positive numbers whose prime factors only include two, three, and five. So this is a continuation of ugly number. I already did a video on this. I'm gonna link it up here. If you guys haven't already, watch it. We're actually gonna reuse some code for the brute force method. This video is actually gonna be longer because I'm gonna go over the brute force method first, and then we're gonna improve it because brute force method is, I mean, it's not that good, but it, it, yeah, you'll see. So they want us to return the 10th ugly number so we have one, two, three, four, five. Remember, it skips seven because uh, seven has a factor of seven, which is not included um, in these these numbers. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. They skip eleven and twelve. So twelve is the tenth number, and that's what it returns. So if we're doing a brute force method, we would just have we would do the same thing we did in the first part of ugly number, and we would just keep a count. So let's set the count equal to one, and if n is equal to one so this is like our base case we just return count and then we're going to have our answer which is what we're going to turn let's just initialize it to zero and so for this one we're just going to want to check every number and we're going to use the method that we used in the first one but we're going to check every number so we're performing all these calculations for each number until we reach the count so let's go ahead and implement that I less than uh, n. Yeah, okay, that, that works. And so <clears throat> I'm just gonna copy this basically. Um, so if you guys remember in my other video, basically we're just dividing the number as much as possible by the prime numbers that they require for uh, it to be an ugly number. And um, so we're going to come up to if num, actually, no, we have to use a temp. We can't change num um, int, let's see. Uh, oh no, this is just, so let's use num here. That'll make it easier. Oops. And all right. So we're going to have a temp and it's going to be equal to num. So this is what we're going to change. Um, <clears throat> because we can't, we have to be able to set the answer later on if n equals count. So this is where we're checking. Let me update all these real quick. And okay, so we're doing the exact same thing, and then we're gonna see if uh, if no, this is wrong. If temp equals one, then we know we have a ugly number. So we're going to increment the count first, and then we're going to see if count equals n, then that's our answer. So if count equals n, then answer equals um, num. So num isn't changed yet. That's why we had to use the temp, temp variable. And we're going to break out of the for loop. And then I believe it's here. We're going to return answer. So this should work for the brute force. Um, did something wrong. Okay, guys, I figured out what I was doing wrong. Um, this needs to be count because we need to, we're gonna be looping through until, um, until count is equal to n. Um, I was making a mistake, I was using num. That doesn't make sense because num could be incremented even if um, even if we don't increment count, even if it's not an ugly number. So um, it would reach n before we reach the correct count. So that's what was wrong. So I'm gonna show you guys, this one actually times out because it's just not efficient enough. It works, it just doesn't work for extremely large numbers. So we need to improve it. See it times out at 1352. So I think it reaches something like 1000 and then it stops working. 
so we need to improve it and okay sorry about that somebody knocked on my door so let's jump back to it i believe i was on the indexes i just filled in all the indexes so that's just i um this is the our array of ugly numbers and we have n equals 10 we're doing the example on the in the problem so um <clears throat> What these numbers over here, these I2, I3, I5 represent, is when we're, calcu we're calculating the next ugly number. So we're going to calculate 2 times I2. These are all going to start at 0, referring to the 0 index right here. So we're doing 2 times 1, and 3 times 1, and 5 times 1. Those are the ugly numbers. But we want to calculate the, the math.min of all, all three of them. So... Um, <clears throat> So let's do that. I'm going to fill these in. And hopefully it makes more sense as uh, we go through the problem. So after we calculate it, we're going to set ugly equal to nums of i. And then we're going to have uh, if statements. We're going to see we have to increment the i2, i3, i5 when, we, when the number equals it. So for example, if ugly equals nums of i2 times 2 then i2 is incremented and that's going to go for all three so i'm just going to do dot 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 they're the exact same statement except they're times 3 and times 5 so i3 plus plus i5 plus plus um so let's go through this real quick so we have the first what is the min of of this statement it's obviously going to be 2 times 1. It's less than 3 times 1 or 5 times 1. So let's fill that in. So this is 2. And we need to increment this. So we get i2 equals 1. And then let's go through. What is the next min? It's obviously going to be 3 times. We're still at the 0 index for i3. So it's going to be 3 times 1. So plus 1. And this is 3. So the next is going to be 2 times... 2 times the index of 1, which is 2. So 2 times 2 equals 4. We need to increment this again. And this is 2. I was about to write 4. <laughs> um, so what is the next? It's obviously going to be 5 times 1. So we get 5. Let's increment i5. And now here's an interesting example. Um, if we do... The index of 2, which is 3, times 2, we get 6. If we do the index of 1, which is 2, times 3, we get 6. So they're both 6. Um, so that means both of these statements are going to execute. We're going to have to increment both at the, the same time. We want to keep i3 up to date because if we skip it, we're going to... I mean, our array is just not going to come out right. Um, so we're going to have 6, and we're going to increment i2 and i3. And let's just keep going. So um, what's important to see here is since we're not doing 7 times i7, we're never going to calc uh, add 7 to the ugly numbers array. So that's important to see. Um, I believe the min of the next one is th 4 times 2. Yeah, so it would be 8. And then, so plus 1 equals 4. I'm not going to finish. Well, I mean, we might as well. Uh, so we have 3 times 3 is 9 and then we have 5 times or I wrote 5 Jesus 1 so we have uh, 2 2 here times 5 is 10 and then the last number is going to be 12. And this is, again, one where we need to increment i2 and i3 because we have the index of 4, which is 5 times five times 2. Oh, I, I needed to increment that, too, because that comes out to um, uh, 10, 4 times the 5 times 2. So then we have the index of 5, which is 6 times 2 is 12. But that also occurs for the index of i3. So 4 times 3 gives us 12. So And so on. I'm, and that's all I'm going to do. So let's code this out now. Um, I know this video is going to be long. 
That's why you guys should stay till the end, hopefully. So let's create our array of nums. New int uh, 1690. 1690 because we need to pre compute all n for n. Um, so we know nums of uh, 0 is 1. And <clears throat> so now we need to, let me think, we need to initialize our variables equals zero. So I'm just going to set into ugly equal to zero. And i5 equals zero. Okay, so now we just want to loop through and pre compute everything. Um, so int i equals zero, i less than 1690, i plus plus. <clears throat> show um, nums of i equals we're going off the code that I wrote hopefully it's in the right order of nums of i2 times 2 and Nums of so ugly equals uh, nums of i. So we're grabbing the ugly number, and then this is where we're going to write our if statement. So if ugly equals nums of i2 times 2, don't forget the times 2, then we're going to increment i2, and let me just copy these over to save time. And... Um, I believe that's, I feel like we're missing something. We just want to return n minus one because it's zero indexed. And let's see if this works. Input 1000 expected. Oh, that's, yeah. So we gotta start at one because we already set nums of zero equal to one. Okay, so this works. This is the dynamic programming um, solution to this. So I hope this made sense. I hope the explanation helps. Let me know what you guys think, if this helped or what I could do better in the comments below. If you have any questions, like respond to your answers and smash that like button if this helped. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be posting videos almost every weekday. So that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.